Now, many of you will know that uh, Onvo has started deliveries of delivering their cars into their users, those that have placed their orders or logged their orders, which is absolutely crazy, amazing to see. I mean, for the month of September, we saw Onvo having total deliveries of 825 vehicles which were delivered in just a period of three days. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video today is that some of the Onvo users that received their cars uh, recently, they've started utilizing Neo's battery shopping stations, which uh, is something that is pretty exciting. I mean, one of the users of Onvo just shared the swapping experience and he said next to that swapping experience was the charging infrastructure and the looks that he was getting to, to see the fact that he's swapping his battery showed him they really are envying to also be part of the people that are swapping uh, the battery in their car which is something that is pretty exciting so this user also confirmed that uh, it took him two and a half minutes to complete a battery shop onto the fourth generation battery shopping station which is something that we already know but to get to see it being confirmed by the user i think it's it's just the cherry on top man it shows you the kind of capabilities battery shopping station brings to those that buy new and on vocals and subscribe to bus it brings convenience i mean you don't have to even step out of your car but as the battery shopping it's performed autonomously which is something that is just out of this world battery shopping station it is a very very strong mode for neo because no ev maker out there it's doing this kind of technology or is deploying this kind of technology which is something that knowing that neo is the only company that is deploying this it will continue attracting more people into coming to buy neo if they can't buy neo they go to onvo if they can't go buy afford onvo then they go to firefly this is what we are going to see in the future i mean for for, for the neo uh, president to come yesterday and say that they they are focusing on two things which the first one is uh, branding and reputation. The second one is user experience, which he believes that it will be the one that continues driving sales into Neo even in the future. Battery shopping station, I tell you, it's one of the biggest modes that attracts people into Neo. It's one of the technology that is driving a lot of people into Neo. It is for this reason that recently, since last week, uh, Friday, we've been getting swaps of uh, around 100,000 per day. This is the reason behind that because a lot of people are really enjoying this battery shopping station which Neo is offering. A lot of people are really seeing the potential that lies within this battery shopping station which is the reason why we are seeing 70% of the people that are buying Neo cars subscribing to Buzz because this is one of the reasons why they chose and selected to come to Neo. Other EV companies, they are not partaking into this. BYD is still on planning stage to deploy their very own battery shopping stations. But this shows you that if companies like BYD are doing this or want to do this, it shows you the potential that lies within this battery swapping station uh, technology. So I'm happy about this. I'm excited. I just thought I gave you this uh, uh, good experience that we just got from the Onvo user to saying that it's just incredible. Going to a car or driving a car that you can take to a battery shopping station and swap the battery in your car it is an incredible experience and hearing it from him to say that other cars driving uh, other brands were just envying him going to a battery shopping station and swap the battery it is something that will attract tons and tons of people coming to want to buy new cars tons and tons of people if they can't afford new cars going to onvo and firefly which just simply means one thing to me and you and that is blue sky is coming i know share price wise we might not wear or you might not be trading where it's supposed to but blue sky is coming long term will win ignore the day-to-day -day movements this is what i always say i mean when i woke up in the morning Someone already on YouTube already commented that Neo in Hong Kong is down 10%, which, uh, yeah, man, it, it's a good day to buy. There's nothing wrong that Neo is doing. Neo is a company that is co continuing to show a growth, which I think the market will continue uh, paying or rewarding Neo in terms of the share price recovery. I mean, share price or stock price don't go up in a straight line. They consolidate, they fall down, and all those kind of things. And I think those that are investing on to Neo for the long term are the ones that are going to enjoy the benefits or the good gains that we are going to see in the future. There is no doubt that 
NEO will go back towards the all-time high of $66.99. And when it goes up there, I can tell you that so many of the people are now going to come back and flood the stock uh, or start investing onto the stock rather and not taking the opportunities that we are seeing now of six dollars and load the boat because we might not see the days of the six dollars the days of seven dollars eight dollars ten dollars are, are very soon are going to come to an end because new is a company that in the next three or four quarters is going to become profitable this is not up for debate this this is not something that is uh, needing some rocket science to prove, but based on what we are seeing on Tunio's performance, based on their future projections or near future projections, you and me can agree that in the next three to four quarters, Neo is going to be profitable. I mean, right now in Q4, Neo has got a big chance of selling uh, almost 100,000 vehicles in Q4, which is something that we look forward to, as Neo has never done that since its existence. So, blue sky is coming. I just thought I'd give you this quick update. Tell me what you think about these deliveries or rather insurance registrations. We have not gotten the report again today. And this, I think since this is the second week, it tells us that we might not be getting those figures maybe anytime soon because what NEO has been fighting for, maybe it's being implemented of saying that sources or those that are sharing insurance registration must stop as they don't reflect the actual numbers. So it, it might mean that NEO indeed with that part of uh, talking to Leo to stop sharing these figures, maybe it has worked this time around. But if they come, I'll give you the figures uh, because I know that there are some people that are really that wake up every Tuesday looking forward to those figures. So if they come, I'll give them to you. But as it stands, there's nothing, which is why um, I'm not reporting anything on the insurance registration. So Blue Sky is coming. Just thought I'd give you this quick update. Tell me what you think about this uh, um, news coming from the Envoy user. Um, I think it's just amazing, man. I mean, hearing the people on the ground, hearing the people that are experiencing this uh, uh, firsthand, I think it's just amazing for us, the investors who but have not even seen NEO. We are able to, of course, make a precise decision and start to project where NEO could be because of experiences like this, because of the feedback that NEO is getting from those that own NEO cars, on Vocas, we can make a precise decision and we know that when we load the boat, we are safe because NEO is a company that is doing well and it is showing that the demand is not slowing down which is just so amazing otherwise that's all from me do your own dd and i'll see you in my next video and god bless you all